water-bound aerodynamic missile plummeting through the spray. The unlimited hydroplanes, the powerhouses of boat racing. Championship heat for the Bill Muncie Cup. We are on our countdown, so we'll remind everybody we need to get out of the water. You're doing a great job so far, and we appreciate the help that you've given us. All six of our H1 Unlimited Hydros racing in the final heat for the Bill Muncie Cup at Bayfair for 2019, and here who will be on the course. The U6, Jimmy Shane in the Miss Home Street. Burr Henderson in the 7 Spirit of Detroit. The U11 J&Ds presents Reliable Diamond Tools. J. Michael Kelly behind the wheel of the 12 Graham Trucking. The 98 Graham Trucking American Dream, Corey Peabody. They've been working on that boat for a long time. We're not able to get into our last preliminary, but they're in the water and ready to go. And they're going to be running against Jeff Bernard in the 1918 Oberto Super Salami. That sounds like some pretty fast competition, some pretty aggressive competition. This is the final race of the 2019 series. They're going to be putting the best prop and everything on the line for this, Mark. And we'll remind our uh, fans, both on the H1 stream and here on Mission Bay, this is a five-lap final. Our preliminary is three laps, but we go five times around our two-and-a-half-mile Bill Muncy race course here on Mission Bay for the championship heat, and we are about... Three minutes and 40 seconds away from the five-minute gun. Boats will be coming out onto the water and at an the five-minute gun. Another game changer here, Mark, is we've been running preliminary heats all weekend long with only four, maybe five boats. We're going to throw six boats out there for five laps. The water is going to get extremely rough. A lot of these drivers made some changes when we had that quick little break, and that's when they're going to put their rough water equipment on there. So we're going to be seeing a lot of flying boats on this final heat. Well, the wind has died down. We had winds at about 10 miles an hour earlier. They're down to about six right now, and maybe even a little less. Ideal water conditions here. The water will get soupy and like oceanic by the time six boats keep maybe one or two laps under the transom. <laughs> it's gonna get really rough out there, but they don't have to contend with wind making more rollers. Well, and I know I heard you talking earlier with one of our fans and they were asking about the differences between running on fresh water versus running on salt water. Which one is faster and why? And it's because the salt water is denser, so the prop gets a better bite. You can go faster on the salt water. This is the fastest race course. Everybody seems to think that, well, maybe the Tri-Cities race course is the fastest. Yes. <laughs> and it's certainly comparable and the speeds are comparable, but here on Mission Bay we have Absolutely great conditions with the salt water, not a lot of wind, uh, just a little ruffle on the water to keep the boats from sticking down there. We're going to have a barn burner of a final heat coming up in about 7 minutes and 10 seconds, so 2 minutes and 10 seconds, a little less now, and we'll have 6 H1 unlimited hydroplanes on the race course. And due to the fact that we are running on the salt water, they do add with the snorkel on the top, which can change the handling of the boat just a little bit. So we've got Bert Henderson has never raced out here for the final. So he's going to have to deal with learning how to drive a boat with a snorkel with six boats out there for five laps. That's the boat that I'm going to be watching for for the Botanical Homes of Bert Henderson. Comes out of Ontario, Canada. So Bert is a boat builder himself, builds hydroplanes. That's what he does for a living. So he knows how to put them together, and he has done extensive work on the U-7.
Last year's Bill Muncy Cup champion, Amber Tate, is not here in the what is the U1 now. He elected, the team elected not to race. So we will have crowned, already actually have crowned, a brand new H1 Unlimited national champion, and that's Jimmy Shane and Miss Home Street happened earlier yesterday afternoon. Minute, uh, about 52 seconds away into our five minute gun. You can see all of our fans are starting to make their way up onto the grassy area. Once again, we do remind all the fans that they must stay out of the water and off of the sand area. That's for your safety and the safety of those around you. Keep in mind, these boats will be floating on a cushion of air. And as you just saw with Kevin Ekerit, anything can happen. So for your safety, we do ask that all of our swimmers are out of the water and up onto the grassy area. That's going to be a great view. Green flag, green flag, let's go racing. And with that, J. Michael Kelly, first off of the dock. Looks like we might have a little cluster of boat as Jeff Bernard and Burt Henderson already start tapping sponsors just trying to get off of the dock. Jeff Bernard I might be throwing some water into Burt Henderson. He curves to the right, as you call it, the right-hand turn to avoid the salt water. We might be bumping boats before they even get out onto the water, Mark. Everybody off the dock except Corey Peabody, and he has got a real hot start. Wow, Looks he like is... he's going to be okay. A little flame out of the uh, tailpipe, a little extra fuel loaded in there. Not a big problem. He's spilled out, and he's going to head out on the course. Corey Peabody in the American Dream Graham Trucking 98. But we're going to take our eyes back out onto the water as we watch that baby blue home street bank driven by J Jimmy Shane. But J. Michael Kelly, Mark, J. Michael Kelly has already opted to cut the course very early. This is the first time I've seen him do this. Well, he usually does that to get the inside lane, and he has the inside lane, but there is three minutes and 43 seconds to go. He follows very quickly by Jeff Bernard as he takes place right next to him, sponsor to sponsor, as J. Michael Kelly and Jeff Bernard. But Jeff Bernard hammers it down, cuts back onto the inside of the course, leaving J. Michael Kelly back there. He is what is called a park and start. This is the race before the race. They are not assigned lakes or assigned lanes, folks. They are actually fighting for these lanes. And they are parked. Jimmy Shane is parked right in back of J. Michael Kelly. You might see a little trickeration here. This might get a little interesting, and we're going to have to watch out for the one I'm going to watch for is that bright yellow boat that's driven by Jamie Nielsen for the J&Ds, presented by Reliable Diamond Tool. He hit a speed of 160 miles per hour earlier today. It's the fastest that boat has gone. I watched their, watched their team working hard, making a couple more adjustments. They want to hit 161 and make it to the top of the podium. They might be the dark knight in this race. I'm going to keep an eye on that boat. Uh, Jimmy Shane is creeping up a little closer. He was trailing right in J. Michael Kelly's wake, but he's not anymore. He's moved out to the left, to the right, actually, and just kind of creeping up. We'll see exactly what happens. This is a very interesting thing. Corey Peabody goes by both of them. Strategy here in the race. This is definitely the race before the race. Now Jimmy Shane has kicked it up. And he is going to try to take lane leapfrog into lane number one. This is going to get very interesting. Jimmy Shane just decided to spiel it back up, go through lane two. We're going to have to watch him as he to see if he cuts back through the inside of the two course. minutes before the race. Two Jay, minutes before the start. J. Michael Kelly is really early at a minute 55, and he's just about to enter into turn number two. Jimmy Shane leapfrog. Now, maybe. Somebody will cut the course and try to get in front. Jamie Nielsen is now shadowing J. Michael Kelly. Burt Henderson tops to come through the course, cutting through to bring back around. They want to keep the motors warmed up because, as you can see, as J. Michael Kelly trolls through there, when he tries to get up on plane, he's going to take a pretty big chance that when he gets up on plane, he might throw some salt water up there. I'm not sure if that was a smart move. 
Jamie Nielsen now moves a little out to the right. He is uh, about six or seven boat lengths behind J. Michael Kelly, trying to get that inside lane. One of them wants it. Actually, they all want it. And coming up the back stretch behind them, we're coming up to the one minute gun. White flag and one minute gun. We got another great move made by Corey Peabody as he comes over and tries to take lane one away from Jimmy Shane. Jimmy Shane trolling about midway through the back stretch. Corey Peabody keeps creeping over, and we're going to have to see if Jimmy Shane's going to be able to take that. And he jumps in on the inside of Corey Peabody going over his roller. We have got some serious strategies going out here. And Bayfair, you guys are in for a show. San Diego, let's stand up and get ready for the final. Now Jeff Bernard and Bert Henderson both at speed. Corey Peabody Corey looks Peabody's like he might be down put in the, the fire back. out. We're at 20 seconds. Now they're going to kick it up 15 seconds. And it will be J. Michael Kelly on the inside. Still a little bit early. Corey Peterson trying to restart. Two, one. There's the start. Start is under review, and J. Michael Kelly leads him down to turn number one. Right next to him is going to be Jamie Nelson in the U11. Corey Peterson's got the boat restarted, but he's got a long ways to go. J. Michael Kelly through the first turn five times around for our championship heat for the Bill Muncie Cup 2019. And here they come right up the back stretch at you. Jimmy Shane. Jimmy Shane's in the middle. J. Michael Kelly holding the inside. And here comes Bert Henderson on the outside. And we got three wide coming into turn number one for lap one of five. Let's go racing, folks, as J. 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 Michael Kelly. J. Michael Kelly lifts that left sponsor up. Jimmy Shane chasing him down from the outside. And Bert Henderson from the farther outside. Jamie Nilsson had to drop back at the start. But he was right up there with J. Michael Kelly. And Jeff Bernard is trailing the field right now, except for Corey Peabody. End of lap number one. We go five times around. J. Michael Kelly on the inside. It is a good start. So everybody was legal. No gun jumpers. So we are racing with nobody penalized for jumping the gun. Everybody's on the same lap. J. Michael Kelly on the inside. Jimmy Shane next to him. And we will see what happens and how far they are separated as they come around the turn, Kelly takes it out to about lane number three, and Shane has to move out to about lane number four and a half. As up the back stretch, they go. As they're catching up to Corey Peabody, they're going to start getting into his sloppy water, and it looks like Jimmy Shane might be stuck in that sloppy water because he had to go out into lane three. We're going to see how he can handle this boat going into the second turn. J. Michael Kelly floating it through. Turn number two as the crowd starts to go wild, cheering on the Graham trucking. J. Michael Kelly off the Sea World turn and heads down the front straightaway. Bert Henderson is in third place, but he's well back of everybody else. And then we've got, uh, no, it's Jeff Bernard. Uh, backing uh, up him. So down the front straight away, end of lap number two. It's J. Michael Kelly. It's Jimmy Shane. J. Michael Kelly and Jimmy Shane. All right, and it looks Shane like Shane has caught Kelly. But Kelly on the inside is now on the turn. A great turn for J. Michael Kelly. Good and turn. And he's taking the lead back from Jimmy Shane. Jimmy Shane is about four rooster tails back because J. Michael Kelly just passed Corey Peabody. Corey Peabody is staying in the outside of the course, giving his fellow body, J. Michael Kelly, all the way down the back stretch. And he is flying that boat because he knows any mistake may cost him because Jimmy Shane is not going to give it to him easy. J. Michael Kelly going for three in a row. He won at Tri-Cities. He won at Seattle. He's looking for a win here on Mission Bay. Jimmy Shane now about two rooster tails behind, maybe even more as J. Michael Kelly completes lap number three. Three down, two to go for the Bill Muncie Cup. For J. Michael Kelly being chased, any bobble from Mike, and it's going to be Jimmy Shane who's going to take over that lead. So Jimmy is hot on J. Michael's heels, but right now J. Michael Kelly is leading this race over Jimmy Shane by quite a ways. We're looking at, through the turn, about three, four rooster tails, J. Michael Kelly. J. Michael Kelly stretching his lead out from Jimmy Shane. And in third place, we've got Burt Henderson of Botanical Boats. In fourth place in 1918, Jeff Bernard in the Alberto Super Salami. But here comes J. Michael Kelly one more time, floating it down the backstretch. About a lap and a third to go. 
We are on lap number four. Coming up for the white flag, looking for that white flag, and Jimmy Shane falls back a little farther. J. Michael Kelly has half a turn on him as they come off the SeaWorld turn down the front straightaway. J. Michael Kelly crosses the line. End of lap number four, the white flag lap. He's got one more lap to go to take that Bill Muncie Cup trophy home. J. And Michael the, Kelly leading into turn number one. The wind is starting to pick up, and I just saw the effects of that on Burt Henderson. He started to float on the inside of the course, had to turn it right just a little bit, almost spun it out. But we're going to once again take us back to our leader, Mark, as J. Michael Kelly comes out of turn one. He comes out of turn one, takes it wide. He really didn't have to because Jimmy Shane is well behind him now. Rooster tails, you can see the effect of the wind blowing the rooster tails off to the left. J. Michael Kelly halfway up the back stretch, half a lap away from taking the Bill Muncie Cup in 2019 here on Mission Bay. J. Michael Kelly, he's got the race in hand. He just needs to complete a turn and half a straightaway. J. Michael Kelly once again is your leader coming in the apex of turn number two. And here comes Jimmy Shane also hitting the apex of turn number two. J. Michael Kelly one straightaway left to go, Mark, and he is going to take the checkered flag. And across the line right there, J. Michael Kelly is your winner. Three races in a row, the last three races of the H1 Unlimited Series for 2019 go to J. Michael Kelly and the Graham Trucking. Jimmy Shane crosses in second. Burt Henderson now off the Sea World turn, and he will come in third as he comes down to finish his five laps. Corey Peabody in the American Dream Graham Trucking in the 98 makes his way around the course. Had some issues at the start, but able to bring it back up and make, make all five of his laps. The Alberto finishes. That's a fourth place for Jeff Bernard. Now, Corey Peabody, I believe, was lapped by everybody, so he has an extra lap to run. to see Corey Peabody. He is still racing because he's finishing his fifth lap. As you recall, he went dead in the water down in lane number one on the backstretch before the start. So here comes Corey halfway up the backstretch and he will take fifth place. And Jamie Nilsson in the U11, j and is presented by Reliable Diamond Tool, gets a did not finish. And Corey Peabody finishes in fifth place. Did not finish to Jamie Nilsson. So unofficially, the order of finish, J. Michael Kelly in the Graham Trucking in first, second to Jimmy Shane in the U6 Miss Home Street, third to Burt Henderson in the Spirit of Detroit, presents Boitano Holmes. Fourth place to Jeff Bernard in the Alberto Super Salami, and fifth place to Corey Peabody in the 98 Graham Trucking American Dream. And we say unofficial because, again, we'll remind you the boats have to go through their tech check. Make sure that all of the data 
matches the restrictions on these motors in terms of output speed and fuel flow. And if it comes back clean, we'll have an award ceremony here. And we'll know exactly who has won the Bill Muncy Cup. All right, we're going to grab J. Michael Kelly. He's personally on a conference call with Rob Graham, giving him the good news. Well, Rob Graham, if you are listening online on the live stream, we do congratulate you and thank you for all that you do for H1 Unlimited Hydroplane Racing. All right, I'm going to grab J. Michael Ke Kelly over here as he gives handshakes to all of his crew and to even to his competitors' crew. I mean, that is what's great about our sport is that we are all working together. Going to get the hat from Carson, his son Carson. Carson, are you excited for your dad? <laughs> You're shy. <laughs> I don't know where you get it from, J. Michael. <laughs> J. Michael Kelly, 2019 is in the books. You have had a spectacular season so far, finishing it off with a win here. Yeah, we may not have gotten a national championship, but to uh, win three races in a row says a lot about this Graham trucking team. Um, I gotta thank Rob Graham. Just uh, just for giving me the opportunity, give me a boat that can go out and win races, spending lots and lots of money. Um, it definitely shows. Um, but I couldn't do this without my guys. They, uh, they're they the ones that bust their butts every single day, back home at the shop, working on this thing. And uh, you know, I get to sit behind the wheel and you know, I just go out there and do the best I can for them. Well, it's a great combination. You just mentioned it perfectly. It's a combination of a great sponsor, a great gear shop, a great prop, and, of course, a great crew putting it all together and putting you behind the wheel, J. Michael Kelly. You've been driving since 2004, and you have shown this ground trucking team how it is to win with a spectacular win. You didn't just win it by inches. You won it by a mile. Yeah, no, that's amazing. I mean... I'm the old guy doing this, and that's pretty crazy. Um, you know, I got an amazing teammate, Corey Peabody. Uh, I sure wish we could get him a faster boat, and I'm sure something will happen this off season where he'll get something like that. Um, but you know, these uh, these race teams and stuff, and these race boats. I mean, we just we love doing this, and we need more of this. And I don't, I don't want it to ever go away. I hope that I'm doing this for a long time and can hand this over to the younger generation and. Uh, you know, bust my butt on the boat in return, and uh, but I don't know. Three, three in this season with three wins is uh, pretty amazing. So thank you, everybody, and thanks for having us down here. Love coming to San Diego, um, and look forward to coming back. Well, we look forward to seeing you back here in 2000 or 2020. Oh my gosh, we're already in 2020. That's crazy. Congratulations to the 12 Graham Trucking, J. Michael Kelly. J. Michael Kelly is your winner of the Bill Muncy Cup for 2019. Again, unofficially, the podium finish would be J. Michael Kelly in the Graham Trucking, Jimmy Shane in Miss Home Street, and Burt Henderson in the Spirit of Detroit presents Boitano Homes.
All right, well, I found Jimmy Shane of the Home Street Bank. Finished in the second place, but Jimmy, I would have to say you have had a great year as well. And tell our fans exactly what your perspective was on that start because there was a lot of maneuvering going on. Yeah, I mean, they, uh, you know, they changed some rules before the start of this race, and um, they opened up a lot of uh, opportunities to make some interesting maneuvers. And, uh, you know, we, we, I got up there with Mike and started parking it, and then I said, yeah, I really don't want to come here. I want to uh, keep the equipment safe. I didn't want to salt the engine up. So I was planning on uh, getting a flying start. I had a really good start, but so did Mike as well. So, and he was in the inside lane. Uh, we knew that they had some good equipment for the final heat, and uh, we stuck with them the first lap and then he just slowly started uh, pulling away from us. So, kept the equipment in one piece. We had a great season. We're coming away with the national championship, and um, you know, I think uh, Miss Holmstrom really proved what it can do this year. Well, I wanna say you did second place, but you had another weekend with another congratulations to you for tying it up for the 2019 national champion for the H1s. Yeah, that's, uh, that's always our main goal. And uh, to come out here and represent Home Street Bank uh, is obviously uh, another one of our main goals, and I think we did that very well today. Uh, second place, uh, not really what we want, but uh, we're happy that the boat's in one piece. We're in great shape going into next season, and um, that's uh, all you can ask for. All right, well, congratulations again. Another great weekend for Jimmy Shane and the Home Street Boat. Also want to thank Home Street Banking for sponsoring here at Bay, Bay Fair. This has been a great venue and a great weekend of racing. Gunner O'Farrell, please report to the U-7. Gunner O'Farrell, please report to the U-7. Well, Mark, it has been a pleasure working with you for the 2019 Bay Fair. I have had a wonderful weekend. There's been a lot of great racing. And, you know, Mark, what particular part of the weekend stands out to you the most? Well, I think the final heat was barn burn, and it was great. We want to make sure that everybody in the pit area knows that the helicopter is about to take off. You're going to get a lot of rotor wash, so let's batten everything down and make sure that nothing important gets blown away because that helicopter is going to take off any minute now. Batten down the hatches, boys and girls. We're taking the helicopter up. We have a little slight uh, reordering of the finish. Officials now determined that Bert Henderson in the U7 jumped the gun and got a one-minute penalty, and so that drops him down to fourth place. So pending the tech instruction uh, inspection, J. Michael Kelly, the winner, that stays. Jimmy Shane, second place, that stays. But the penalty to Burt Henderson moves Jeff Bernard up to third. Burt takes fourth. Corey Peterson, fifth. And again, it did not finish to Jamie Nilsson.
We want to say a big thank you to Home Street Bank for this year's title sponsorship of San Diego Bayfair. Well, for our friends on the H1 live stream, we appreciate you being here with us all weekend long for the Unlimited Bill Muncie Cup here on Mission Bay. It's been a beautiful weekend. We've had some great racing. That closes up the 2019 H1 Unlimited Hydroplane season. Mark Allen and Kay Brewer had a great time bringing it to you. And we will be with you, well, H1's Unlimited Streaming with a whole uh, cast of thousands at various race sites. We'll be with you in 2010, uh, 2019, 20, what year is this? <sighs> it's been a long weekend, folks. 2020 season is just around the corner, and the H1 Unlimited Stream will be there to bring it all to you. Thanks for watching, and have a great winter. And if your boat, if your boat is broken, get to work on it. Good night, everybody.